from Hyderabad district. Uh, today we are going to see a video on how to update teachers details in UDICE portal. Uh, for that you need to go to the school login uh, which is a normal thing. Uh, I don't want to explain it exactly like before because it's uh, most of you already know that. So I'm entering the user ID and password. So you log in like this, uh, you will be seeing this video, uh, page. Here you have an option called Go. If you click on that, uh, the total teachers details like uh, the basic data will be shown here. You have these options, import staff, staff global search, inactive teachers, inactive teachers and deleted staff. And uh, last year staff details and user manual. This user manual will help you to clear your doubts, whichever it is. So you can download that and check whatever it is there in it. And uh, for after completing the data only, you have to click click here for certification. That is that has to be done once all the teachers' data is updated. And then this is um, mapping of the school head details and assistant head details. If you click on map, you will be sh uh, shown three options. So if the teacher is uh, head of the school is from the same school, uh, you need to select within the school and uh, update uh, select one of the teachers from the school. If there is any designated HM, then you have to select that as a thing. And assistant head details also you need to update. If there is nothing like that, uh, if the school has no teachers, then you have to go for, for the another school and then enter the national ID of the teacher. And if you don't know that also, there is another thing like uh, might be the Mandal block officer might be also uh, the in charge so that you can update that. So this uh, the details are same. So I'm not going to change anything in that. Uh, I'm going back to the dashboard. So here you can see whatever I have told you now, if no teachers are available in the school, the school user may update the head of the details and proceed with the certification. If there is no teacher, then you need to update the HOS details and then click on uh, click here for certification. Once you click on uh, click here for certification, you will be uh, asked whether to confirm or not. You just have to click yes and then go ahead. That will be done. So in this particular school, you can see there are 13 teachers out of which five teachers data is incomplete. So for adding a new teacher, you have an option called add teaching staff. If the new teacher is there, you have to add from that and the same to be done for the non teaching staff also. Please remember each and every staff member working in your school uh, should be entered into the portal, whether teaching or non teaching. <clears throat> Uh, to do that uh, and if and uh, every year each and every teacher's uh, data has to be updated. So to update the data you need to select the total number here. So the teachers list will be opened. So if already data is updated for this academic year, the back uh, background of the data will be in green color. If it is in green color, it is already updated and you can also see completed here. If it is not updated, then you can see a red background, a little red background. So for those teachers, you need to update the details. And see here, there are some teachers whose other is not verified uh, because it might have been failed because the data in the other card and the data provided here are not matching exactly same. There might be some uh, uh, spelling mistakes in the name, data but errors, data but not matching cases. So uh, there might be some invalid other cards also. So that might be the case. So once you update the other details, and then you can re-verify the status. So I'm going with my own data so that I can explain you better. So this is mine. There will be three profiles, general profile, appointment profile and teacher training and other details. So I'll go with general profile. In the general profile, you have some general details like the name, date of birth, gender and so and so. And particularly you have to see the staff code. This will be your, if you are a government employee, this will be your employee ID because it will be like the same thing which you are applying for your salary things. You know, simply you can say treasury ID. Uh, if it is for others, other not uh, like what we can say private staff or something, if they have any particular code or it might be automatically generated from the state also. So if it is there, you can do it. If not, you can leave it all. So no issue. 
so social category your qualifications and all and uh, this uh, st subject studied up to which grade like uh, mathematics science english social language whichever it might be up to which grade you have studied that and then type of disability if any if nothing is there it's okay and date of joining into the service the first time you have joined in the job that date it will be here and if this has to be changed if there is any mistake in it if you have if you want to change this it has this can be done from the mandal or district user only and here the present school date it, it also can be edited if, if required if you click on update this data will be updated and you will be directed into the next page but if my data is already updated so i'm just clicking on the next so here you will be asking type of teacher classes taught appointed level appointed for subject main subject taught for primary you can see the options this is fine if or there is only there might be only one change if the teacher is a designated lflhm there is another separate option for teacher type that is lflhm you can select that and there are some cases so that secondary grade teacher special education is also there that also you can select for teachers who are working in primaries for special education and classes start pre-primary only sorry primary only and appointed for level pre-primary -pri teacher and appointed subject but in secondary level you need to select secondary then appointed level also secondary sometimes it might be upper primary and secondary because uh, in government in telangana we have uh, like 6 to 8 6 to 10 classes together so that according to the classes you have you need to select this thing and then appointed for subject for primary it will be all subjects for high school teachers their particular subject has to be updated here and the main subject and the appointed subject should be same and deputation details if there is any deputation you need to update but uh, as far as the UDA is concerned, no adaptations has to be updated. And then click on update. Then you will be right, re right, redirected into this next page. Here you can see the training details which you have done for the last academic year. So these details have to be entered. At the end you can see another thing, CTET qualified, those TET qualification data has also been updated. Once then done, you have to click on update so that your page will be opened like this like this each and every teacher's data has to be updated after updating all the teachers data you need to click click for here for certification so here see there are four teachers incomplete so you can't final submit your data once you complete them then you can write the remarks all the data is verified and found correct and click on and then certify this is how you have and then click on certify this is how you have to update your school teachers data in UDIS plus portal uh one more thing i forgot if any teacher was has left your school either any means by any means like uh, retired transfer and then there is a simple option called left the school option here you need to just click on that update the details uh, reasons for the leaving school and then submit so the teacher will be out of the school so this is how you update the teacher's data in your school from Udice portal. Uh, please do like, share and subscribe my channel for uh, more videos like this on Udice and other education related portals. Thank you for...